morning everyone welcome back to my channel as you could probably see from the title um i don't actually know what titles kind of give these videos but it's like a, a bit of a transformation before i go on holiday but i don't want to say transformation because i'm really not changing myself that much um but first day of kind of making myself feel good and look good before i go away and it's hair day what you said to Hello. <laughs> and she's getting her hair done too so maybe i'll show us both um, but yeah, my hair's just very, very long at the moment, but I think I've decided to keep it long and then cut it short after holiday. Uh, but I just want it a lot brighter, blonde, and just have your hair done, you know? It just feels nice to get it all fresh and, and nice before you go away. Um, and Georgie, what are you doing to your hair? Um, I'm going darker. Lovely. Turn your hair to the side. This is Georgie's before, this is my before. I'll show you what's after. But yeah, this is the first step of the video where I would like to get my hair done. But that I'm doing other bits as well. Like I'm gonna go to Boots and pick up lots of makeup and, and bits like that. I've got my nails and I'm gonna get really nice nails. So yeah, um, there's lots to come up in this little weird transformation style video. Is <laughs> that holiday prep? Yeah, holiday prep, that's the better word for it. Hello. <laughs> when I last spoke to you, give a little rewind, I'm pretty sure I said, I'm not gonna cut my hair short. I think I've decided to keep it long and then cut it short after holiday. Well, I did. <laughs> I'm pretty impulsive like that. Um, I will get it in my head I want to do something and I'll just do it. Um, even though I'm just before going on holiday and I could struggle to style it. However, I'm into it. I kind of got the inspo off Elsa, I want to say her name is not the Disney character, the Victoria's Secret supermodel, and then also Chloe Freighter, Chloe Freighter, I think her name is, something like that, I'll pop some pictures on anyway, that was my inspo, here is the outcome, nice and fresh and blonde, really lightweight, it'll be nice on holiday, I'm looking forward to just doing something different, I was really really bored with my hair, so why not switch it up? you know but because i have new hair i got a new tool because i saw chloe freighter who i've just mentioned use this on her short hair and so then i got it it was only 30 pounds for a hair tool i thought that was quite decent i'll show you the actual tool it's like a massive brush because i was using my dyson but i just needed a bigger barrel and for 30 pound to get the ha your hair the way you want it i thought it's kind of worth it Anyway, the reason why I jumped on as well is to do a really super quick um, boots haul. Sorry if I keep playing with my hair, it is very new to me and it does feel weird that it's just here. <laughs> um, and this is not the end of my transformation either. I am going to do all my makeup and look nice to have a nice finish to the video. But yeah, I thought I'd do a boots haul because I got loads to the point where I literally broke the bag and had to carry it around town. It was embarrassing. But I'm just going to pull things out as and when. So I got some texturising salt spray because I thought that would be good for the beachy hair. And I want to kind of do natural curls with it. I just want to play around with my hair, do something new, have a good time. <laughs> so I got that. Um, then to go with it, I got some oil hair oil just because i was needing some and i was watching a video the other day and got to be apparently has really good ingredients and it's not bad for your hair so i went for that brand and it was relatively cheap and on offer so we love that um other boring stuff my favorite deodorants stocked up because they were on offer mitchum deodorants love you um, next, an another thing that's boring, just some micellar water from Simple. Uh, my favourite moisturiser from Cetaphil. This is the best one. And then, boring ones again, because I'm going on holiday. I got the Super UV Over Makeup Mist by Garnier. It's Factor 50. Sticking with Factor 50, I just got a sensitive advanced mist, just in case I'm really being hopeful here that the weather's going to be amazing but it is the end of summer um in south africa when we go so i don't think it's going to be too hot but you just never know when we're on day trips and things like that it you can just burn your shoulders things like that so i've got this just to be safe and i'll use this throughout summer as well when we have those nice hot days in england if they ever come um then i saw this 
because it just sounded really nice. It's a skin nourishing milk SPF 30. I like to get different SPFs just because when I've not been to a place before, I don't know what the weather's like. So I've kind of covered all bases here. Sticking with um, sun creamy based products. It's not sun cream at all. It's after sun, but the Hawaiian Tropic after sun. If you've never smelled this, it's incredible. Oh, it takes me right back to holidays every single time and I am obsessed. This tiny tub has definitely got smaller and it's the same price. It's £6 for this tub. Um, it's a bit of a con, but it'll be delicious when I am away. Um, sticking with very boring is some aloe vera hand gel for on the plane, things like that. And it was 80p, so I thought this would be handy. And then the last few boring bits, I suppose, are some... Um, little bobbles in case I want to do little plaits when I'm on holiday and then just some normal bobbles as well um, just stocking up on the things that I need okay getting into a little bit more fun but still a tiny little bit boring is the lasting perfection concealers I get shade four and usually eight but there was only nine so I've gone for nine and I'm hoping with a tan <laughs> um, it'll be okay but yeah some concealer because I've been needing it um, and then l'oreal telescopic my favorite um, mascara ever and i was thinking about getting some false lashes because i am going to a wedding but then i just thought no grace you don't wear that day to day don't do something different when you're away have the pressure of going to a wedding anyway just get your favorite mascara and be done be done with that so i did i got my favorite mascara and this will be instead of false false lashes because i don't wear them so who am i trying to impress you know so quite a nice mascara anyway then because i'm away and i'm hoping to wear makeup every now and again get nice pictures i got some setting spray and i went for the l'oreal infallible three second setting mist um i don't know if this is good or not so usually i do my research on this kind of thing but this was a bit impulsive so i hope it's good if not that's annoying <laughs> but yeah got some setting spray then a brown um, eyeliner because I think I like quite like doing my <laughs> not poking myself in the either quite like doing my is it called tight line what's it called your inner eye line um, in brown when I'm doing a more like smoky look so and it was only three quid bogs then I got this is fun because I feel like it's like a copy of Charlotte Tilbury but it's by Revlon Revlon Revolution um, ultimate knee needs <laughs> I have ultimate needs um, ultimate nudes in medium and I've got a pink dress for the wedding so I thought nice pinky tones um, yeah. and I, I just wanted a nice little compact palette that I could take with me so that will serve me well I hope and then I think like the most fun thing from um, boots that I got because I've really been wanting to try this is the Huda Beauty powder in cherry blossom cake um and it's like setting um baking powder and i watched her i think she did a tiktok the other day and she said the key to skin looking flawless is baking and i've not baked in years like probably since when i first started youtube and i had the time to do it to do stuff like that um and i got a mini and this was 19 pounds i think that's ridiculous but I've, i have really been wanting to try this for a long time so this was my my one holiday treat is this even though i suppose this is as well again a little eyeshadow palette but yeah i got that and then to go with it because um i thought i need a nice powder pr press powder puff yeah powder puff to go with it and this was on sale for like three quid so i got the real techniques one just so hopefully i can stay nice and flawless and other than that i did really want to get the l'oreal glotion but i couldn't find it in store anywhere i think it's either too new or people have just gone mad for it so i couldn't find that so i ordered it on tiktok shop so that should come in a few days in medium um and that's the last bit of makeup i did want to try the garnier skin tint kind of one that's circul circulating on tiktok at the minute as well but um that's completely sold out and i just thought that's a sign to stop spending my money i've spent so much in boots money goes like that in boots is ridiculous um so anyway yeah got all that and then i made one last trip to selfridges because i've 
I made sure to put a little bit of money aside this month to really get the stuff that I wanted so I feel good. Um, and that was a little trip to Selfridges to get the Refi stuff. So I got the brow collection in medium. I've had this before. I've done videos on it. I really, really like this. And for ages I've been using the Got To Be glued like just hair gel on my brows and I just really fancied getting something a bit nicer um so I picked up this and then I also picked up a lipstick I got rosewood because that's my absolute favorite and I think refi lasts so well on the lips good morning it's a new day um my hair slicked back really badly um I need to work on that still I'm now having short hair I need to work on the slick backness and definitely need to buy some more grips <laughs> um oh i bought some hmm. need to use the grips i bought um but yeah i am off to a new gym class this morning and i thought i'd add this into this video because honestly i should be a brand ambassador for class pass i love it that much because there's nothing better than going to a gym class that makes you feel really good and like is doing great things to your body um so i'm going to a new one today called ride i think they've opened one in up in leeds chloe told me there's one in manchester i think the manchester one was actually behind the leeds one i think that one's been open a bit longer that doesn't matter going off topic here but it looks really good and it's just something a bit different i tend to do kind of like circuity type classes and treadmill based classes so to do kind of a spin based class i'm a little bit scared i'm a little bit nervous but i'm going and i thought i'd add this into part of my transformation because honestly gym classes make me feel so good um and i'm doing loads of them before i head to um south africa so i'll show you a few of them that i do so i'm doing ride today doing tribe on monday and then doing berries on wednesday so i've got a few got a few that i can show you can hear me because it's very rain windy uh, windy and rainy <laughs> if you can see I've got the umbrella up it's, <laughs> it's not actually doing much right now <laughs> because the weather is actually atrocious but it is storm Kathleen or whatever whatever she's called so anyway my point on this was that I'm going to get my nails done they are just a plain kind of bit white um over the three weeks that i've had them but i'm getting my nice holiday nails so i thought i'd update you on what i get and yeah just add it into the video really i always show my nails so i don't know why i'm explaining it really um but i think i'm gonna go for our orangey pink remember what day I was actually talking to the camera um but I thought I would round this video off by using all my new makeup and using my new hair tool now I actually really like my hair um I've just curled it here and put a, put a bit of texture spray in and I really like it um so it's a bit of a shame that I want to wash it and use the tool but I want to do it for the purposes of the video okay just switch to the phone just for a sec um because I thought I'd do a quick time lapse of me drying my hair, I've kind of let it naturally kind of get the big chunk of wetness out so that I can um, straight away use the tool. Um, what you might notice is I have done my eyebrows. A um, little bit left on my skin, should have put a bit more Vaseline on, but for those interested, I always use this one. I've shown it in so many videos, that's why I haven't shown it this time, but literally I follow the instructions down to a T. I keep it on for like 10 to 15 minutes and then I take it off, but um, yeah, I just wanted a little bit darker eyebrows. I always feel like the brows go better once they're dyed. And I'm going to 
makeup. I've got my little, my big mirror here and I'm sat on my bed in front of the natural sunlight so that it's actually an accurate representation of trying the new stuff. So sorry if I kind of look down at the mirror a little bit but it's just kind of there so I can actually see what I'm doing a bit better. Um, but yeah, here's my hair. Do you like it? Um, I feel like it's a little bit fresh and it needs some makeup to make it look better. But um, I'm loving the short hair. I'm so glad I just thought, let's do it. I'm so happy. I'm going to use the Refi Brow Kit. I've not used this in ages and I'm so excited to have it back in my life. Um, and I have it in shades medium. There we go. Can you see my brows? Um, I think what I've learned over the years is instead of to go directly up, I go diagonal. So it kind of opens up the face a little bit more. Um, the next thing I'm gonna use is Glotion. Now you've probably seen it all over TikTok just like me. And that is exactly why I've got it. So I'm gonna give it a go, but I feel like everyone on TikTok's been paid to promote it. So I'll let you know if it really is good or not. There we go, it's on the skin. What does everyone think? I don't think it gives much of a difference that everybody's saying, but I do still like it. It's very nice and glowy, but I'm not usually a glowy person, I've got to be honest, so I've got to have to get used to it. Right, I'm going to get my e.l.f. thing, um, the thing that's like the Hollywood flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury. I've still got a tiny bit of this left, but I'm going to use the e.l.f. one just to kind of, kind of use it, you know? Ooh, big applicator. I'm not sure if maybe both of them kind of did the same thing because this is my skin afterwards. It's still looking nice and glowy. Maybe my skin tone is a little bit more evened out after putting the e.l.f. Um, liquid filter on but I do think they've done kind of a similar job. I'm going to use my trusty favourite concealers and finally stop scraping the literal barrel of the ends of my other ones. Now I'm just going to do some boring stuff like the usual uh, bronzer that I use 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 and a little bit of contour i can't remember if i mentioned yet but i got two more colors of the blush by made by mitchell because i think he's discontinuing them i don't know whether it was an april fools because it was that was released on the first of april and i've not seen anything about it since but whoa <laughs> um i got two colors anyway i wanted to try peach what is with my speaking today my speech i want to try peach sugar but my go-to is Sweet Cheeks, so I got the OG, love that one. But I thought for holiday, maybe a bit of peach would be nice, so let's try this one. Oh, this is a lovely colour. I feel like this is like you've just sat in the sun all day kind of colour. Oh my god, love. Okay, now I want to use my new Huda Beauty Baby Bake. Oh my god, I bought that. Um, sponge and it comes with one. That is so cute. What can I do while I wait for this? Let's see my eyes. I'm going to use like, this Revolution Ultimate Nudes palette and I'm really hoping that this is a dupe of Charlotte Tilbury but I've not actually used the Charlotte Tilbury palette so I wouldn't actually know. I'm going to use this top colour in the corner then I'm going to use a bit of this middle one so them two in the crease and then I might, might put this nice sparkly one on the lid. The annoying thing about the bake is you only re the bake <laughs> the only really way you know it works is when you've had your makeup on for a long time so I'll try and keep this on for a while but I'm literally just sitting at home <laughs> I'm do doing this purposely for you guys. I just want to put on some mascara. I would use this one but I don't want to open it yet when this one's not done. Um, but they're pretty much very very similar. This one's just Max Factor and that one's L'Oreal Telescopic. Um, last thing is the Refi Lip Sculpt. Weirdly, I had never heard of this and then the other day I came across it on TikTok and I was like, no way, I've just bought that. Um, but yeah, setting spray, three second setting mist. Okay, so this is the final look. I hope you like it. I hope you like my little summer transformation, get ready with me kind of video. <laughs> I've really enjoyed using the new makeup bits. That was really fun. 
Um, I've got everything like labels stuck to me now because I've just sat in a load of rubbish which is annoying um, but yeah really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see me try more makeup and things like that because I don't really do that too much and I do enjoy it when I do so yeah let me know and let me know if you've got any holidays coming up I'm excited for us all to get into holiday season even though as soon as mine's over I'll be jealous of everyone else that's a that's an issue that's a me issue um but yeah love you all so much and see you soon for another video